Currency clashes sour Russia's oil trade with Asia. Reuters One of Russia's most lucrative oil trade routes since the imposition of Western sanctions over the U. Crane conflict faces a major challenge because of the drawbacks of payment in currency other than D. Allers, with no short-term solution in sight. For decades, the U.S. dollar has been the currency of international oil trade and efforts to find alternatives have been t. warded by the difficulties of conversion, as well as political obstacles. The problems flared when India, which has become Russia's biggest buyer of seaborne oil since Europe, Ian customers retreated, insisted in July on paying in rupees and the trading activity nearly fell apart, according to three sources familiar with the matter. Below are your comments. They're dealing with unstable currencies that are constantly being manipulated and can crash at any minute in an inflationary environment. And it's not like an honor system among bleeping dictators will do them any good. The dollaring is working as planned I see. The beauty of the US petrodollar. It started in the 1970s during the oil crisis when the oil producers had excess money and nowhere t. Oh spend it. The U.S. economy always has or finds something to sell to them. That is why it is the world standard. So much for the fools who swore the BRICS system would eliminate the dollar and give Russia an ADVA. NTAGE of some kind. Sanctions are sanctions. The rupee is almost American Confederate currency, and not many countries s. Aim to want to trust that Chinese shell game. If you work with India long enough, you'll know that all companies, big and small, got scammed doing business in India. Before you ship your company's products to Indian customers make sure you receive a 100% of the money first. Otherwise, you'll never get paid. Also, trumped up. Next news. Volkswagen to reduce headcount at no longer competitive VW brand. Reuters. Berlin. Reuters. Volkswagen's 10 billion euro, 10.9 billion dollars savings program will include staff reductions, managers told staff on Monday as brand chief Thomas Schaefer warned that high costs and low productivity were making its cars uncompetitive. The German carmaker is in the midst of negotiations with its works council over a cost-cutting Schem. E at its VW brand, the first step in a group-wide drive to boost efficiency in the transition to LA. CTRIC cars. With many of our pre-existing structures, processes and high costs, we are no longer competitive as the Volkswagen brand, Schaefer told a staff meeting at the carmaker's headquarters in Wolfsburg, ACC. Ording to a post on the company's intranet site and seen by Reuters. Below are your comments. So VW is saying that the brand's problems are all about labor costs. Wow, they don't think that it is not about the car's quality or the treatment of customers at dealers. Dot. Maybe that is a little delusional. As a VW owner for 1.5 years, I can confirm this is the most boring and irritating car I have owned. I also think the main problem is the product. Stop considering VW after the emissions scandal in 2015. If they would lie about that what else do they lie about?
They lost consumer trust in the U.S. and still have the gall to overprice their product. It's no wonder they are struggling. My Passat has a durable engine, but unreliable electricals and switches, atrocious body hardware, and d very high total cost of ownership. Arrogant VW should take a long hard look at the quality of their products. If you do your own car maintenance. Stay far away from VW or any German car for that matter. I swear they are engineered to irate and f. Restrate you. Next news. Elon Musk dismissed hybrid vehicles as a phase, while Toyota doubled down on them. Now they're a s. Moking hot market, as EV demand chills. Fortune. Toyota's chairman, who's long resisted EV hype despite pressure, is feeling vindicated, with hybrid sales surging this year. Below are your comments. Musk doesn't like hybrids because that's not what he sells and that's what he's competing with. Most of the people who wanted an electric car already have one now. And this year, many other car makers have put some very good EVs out. Now a lot of people don't like Musk and are able to buy a differ. One of the problems is price. A couple years ago, Ford introduced the Lightning EV pickup, and saw it it would have a starting price of 39k. When they finally were available on the dealer's lots, they were all stickered at 70 and 80,000. Dot. What middle class family can afford that? AF. The PHEV is the sweet spot between ICE and EV. It eliminates the range and cross-country issues of the EVs, and yet produces most of its miles. Statistically, using plug-in electric power. Whether that improves pollution or not will depend entirely on how the electricity used to charge TH. EPHEV was. Realistically, if I only have one car for both long-distance driving and daily short-distance driving, gee, I would get a hybrid or HEV. There is no need to map out where to charge for long trip like BEV. Hybrid technology is the best intermediate solution before a full EV1. There is no reason not to push it further. Toyota has seen the right spot in the car industry. Next news. Can I legally avoid paying taxes on a used car? Smart asset. Sales tax on large purchases, like a car, is crucial to factor into the price. Depending on where you live and the price of your car, Sales tax can cost you thousands of dollars. But did you know there are? Continue reading right pointing arrow the post how to legally avoid paying sales tax on a used car appeared first on SM. Art Asset Blog. Below are your comments. There should zero sales tax on a used car. The tax was already paid by the original purchaser when I. T was brand new. Sales tax or use tax as state governments call it is robbery and an unethical way to extract money f. Rom ordinary citizens who try to save money by purchasing a depreciated vehicle. Never understood why there is used car tax since the tax was already paid when the car sold new. Government collected the tax on the property already so there should not be able to collect again a ch time the car is resold.
Why would a person have to pay tax on a used car anyway? The taxes have been paid when it was bought new. This is your criminal government stealing from you. They started a revolution over 2% T-tax. And look now we are letting them take 40% from your paycheck and then getting tax. Pretty much every state will ask you for the sales receipt when you go to register the vehicle. Th. E initial premise is flawed if your state asks for the sales receipt. My state always does. Tried to use the California Highway Patrol form to report that CHP is not paying taxes on their VEHI. Please. Almost got arrested. Next news. Green stock sell-off deepens as Tesla sentiment sours. Bloomberg. Bloomberg. The sell-off that's ripped through green stocks looks set to continue into 2024, bringing a fourth consecutive year of losses, according to Bloomberg's latest markets live pulse survey. Most read fro. M. Bloomberg Russia downs drones over Moscow in Ukrainian retaliatory strike China says multiple pathog. Ends are behind spike in respiratory illnesses sodium in batteries. Shift may herald another shakeup Musk, Netanyahu visit massacre site amid anti-Semitism furor Israel, H. Amas look to extend trail. Below are your comments. Looks like Bloomberg is trying to buy Tesla stock for its investors. I find that doing the opposite of what Bloomberg suggests is a good way to make money. Bloomberg used to be respected. No longer, it's just agenda-based nonsense. I'd bet when news hit that a single thunderstorm sent 14,000 solar panels to the landfill in Nebraska. A last summer, it gave a lot of green investors pause. All the big investment companies start spreading their FUD as Tesla closes in on the end of a quart. R. They want retail investors to panic and sell, so they can scoop up cheap shares. This quarter is going to be great, I wish I could afford to buy more. Dot. Tesla Ponzi got pumped up to nearly 200% this year. I wouldn't call it a sell-off but yeah as liquidity dries up it will fall lower and lower and if lick. Uidity gets injected it will drive the price of everything up. Tesla Ponzi days of reaching new record highs are over. Next news. $7.6 trillion of U.S. government debt will mature in the next year, adding pressure on rates. Business. Insider. The $7.6 trillion that is coming due in the coming year represents 31% of the outstanding total, ACC. Ording to Apollo's chief economist. Below are your comments. And that $7.6 T will need to be refinanced at much higher rates. More and more of taxpayers' money will be just going to service the debt, not to providing any survey. CES. The author needs to be more careful with his terms and arithmetic or at least use more current numbe. RS. Total government debt is not the same thing as public held government debt. The $7.6 trillion of public held debt is around 29.6% of the public held part of U.S. debt as of the E. ND of July. It is you. All new debt will be at higher rates. 
Any future federal government borrowing will cost the taxpayers more than triple as compared to 3Y. Years ago, the federal government will have to lower spending by at least that much to keep up with interest pay. Ments. People don't understand what mature mean. That mean the government holding the debts need to pay the principal to the debt holders. If the G. Overment doesn't have enough cash, they need to print more dollar dollar, which means more debts. That's why the rating companies have lowered U.S. government debts ratty. The problem isn't with the Fed. The problem is with our politicians, who can't balance the budget. Next news. Ask an advisor. I'm way behind on retirement savings. What do I do? Smart asset. I turned 58 this year and am at a loss for what to do or how to plan for my retirement. I only have a small amount of money invested through previous employers, and I'm not sure how to save. E. Continue reading right pointing arrow the post ask an advisor. I'm way behind on retirement savings. What do I do? Appeared first on Smart Asset blog. Below are your comments. I saved ever since my first job when I was 12 working for a contractor on the weekends, and threw out the summer vacations. My sister got in financial trouble in her mid-20 feet s, cc etc, family helped her out. But not by letting her off the hook. I bow my house at 28 and told her if s. I was 50 and had a very small amount saved. I started working two jobs, paid off my house and started saving everything. The last 17 years of my career, I was self-employed so I set up my own retirement plan. I retired at 70, debt-free, average SS and a decent amount saved. I live in a fairly low circa. Pick up a second job and use that money to save specifically for retirement until you can't work anymore. E. If you currently have a car, drive it to the very end. I keep my cars for 15 years well maintained. A. ND the savings are astronomical in the bank. Number 3 The clothes that you have in your closet. Next news. Investing themes to watch in 2024, Magnificent 7, Small Caps, Quick Shifts, and more. Yahoo Finance. Top strategists and money managers share investment ideas and themes to consider for 2024. Below are your comments. Ha! Mike Wilson? The same Mike Wilson who predicted the S&P would be at 3,900 at YE 2023. Wilson noted that the economy and stock market were more resilient in 2023 than he anticipated. In January, the CIO predicted corporate profit margins would deteriorate and the economy would strug. Glay und. I don't go to the racetrack but if I did after reading this article, I would have to bet on all the horses in the race to win to implement these cross-current analyst recommendation. S. Just roll the dice, because that is what they are doing. None of them really know squat. We already seen a catastrophe in 2008, and that will happen again at some point. 
How many people reading this article can afford to buy the Magnificent Seven at the price per share? Without going through a mutual fund? I buy successful companies that pay decent dividend or distribution that aren't out of my price ring. E. There are too many people in the cost line. Buy and reinvest. Read some time ago that the accuracy rate for Fortune 500 in-house forecasters. Next news. Retirement account balances are on the rise. Are you keeping up? Smart asset. Americans, it seems, are getting more financially secure, at least on the retirement front. For the third quarter in a row, retirement account balances increased for households across the town. Try, according to a new analysis from Fidelity Investments. Need help saving and planning for retirement? Speak with a fiduciary financial advisor today. The company. The Post report shows rising retirement account balances. Are you keeping up? Appeared first on Smart Reads by Smart Asset. Below are your comments. The markets haven't hit new highs in over two years. Biden inherited the Trump recovery reopening fro. M. COVID, flattened it out, and it's gone nowhere since. Bull, all of my IRA gains turned into losses and now it is going sideways and has been for three years. Looks like 2024 is going to be no different. I am glad for my defined pension. Sock market blows. Just saw a different story on Yeho how 401k balances went down this year. Make up your mind guys. Dot lol. Our 401k balances are up 35.5% plus 5% dividends since the 3rd of November 2020 the day Trump lost and swore UWI. LL have less, 40% more. It almost feels like inflation is winning over dollar invested. I see how my neighbors live in retirement, doesn't seem very exciting. Next news. Ask an advisor. I'm strictly into bonds and afraid of the stock market. Is this a strategy I should stick with? Dot. Smart asset. I'm afraid of the stock market. With my first investment, I lost 60% of my money. So I'm strictly into bonds. With interest rates low, what's your advice? Should I stay or try something else? Gerald it's reasonable to be. Continue reading right pointing arrow the post ask an advisor. I'm strictly into bonds and afraid of the stock market. Is this a strategy I should stick with? Appeared first on Smart Asset Blog. Below are your comments. If you're young and want to a safe investment, buy index funds steadily with some very paycheck. If you can put even 10% of your paycheck away and invest steady all the time, you'll be rich. When you retire, and like tens of millions rich. Compound interest is a wonderful thing. Never sell. I've been investing retirement savings for over 40 years now. I've seen recession, tech bubbles bursting, great recessions, dot com busts, you name it. I've always been in it for the long haul and a 30-year retirement is still a long haul. Solution. 
Vanguard Wellington Fund which invests in 65% stocks, 35% bonds. Invest at regular intervals and ignore short-term market fluctuations. Next news. A 24-year-old stock trader who made over $8 million in two years shares the four indicators he uses as high. S. Guides to Buy and Sell. Business Insider. He sticks to these four indicators regardless of his strategy. His versatile approach has allowed him to remain profitable in different markets. Below are your comments. I've made many mistakes during early investing days thinking I can get rich quick by being a day TRA. Durr. Then I realized that I had more losses than the gains most month. I learned the hard way investing is not trading. I switched to index ETFs and mutual funds for long term and never regretted. Ninety five percent of day traders lose all their money within six months because they have no risk management system. If Sykes was such a great trader, why is he spending his time making videos and selling training cower? S's. The more people using the same system or style of trading, the more crowded the trade eye. The picture with all the computer screen shows all the indications of a day trader. Very few day traders are successful in the long run. People who teach trading, can't make money trading. After 35 of trading, this is a fact. If someone has something proprietary, never miss, 98% accurate or is trying to sell you, run. Next news. Billions wiped out as stock safety trade on Wall Street misfires. Bloomberg. Rather than give shelter in a stormy season, the largest dividend ETFs have been left behind by a Tay. CH obsessed market whose biggest proxies have surged. Below are your comments. We made the in and out market timing moves accurately, entering dividend fund with prior mind money. Last year, putting it in a growth index this year. Market timing, called by other names is what the market depends on, sales and purchasing. This article just says dividend funds were not the bed ch. Ms. Information That ETF may be failing, but many others fly, like VIG or Solid. Dividend stocks do not fly high, but provide good income. Anything that has a higher yield is going to suffer during periods of aggressive rate increases by T. He fed. Duh. When you can get 5% return on a totally safe CD, why would you invest in anything that pays the SAM? E return but has more risk? So rights, BDCs, utilities, etc. will all suffer. The Rezu. Stop whining and move to where you can afford it. We have that freedom in America as well as the freedom to express our displeasure with the current S. Ituation. How exactly were billions wiped out? Next news. Ask an advisor. My advisor sold my NVIDIA stock when I hired him, costing me $50,000 in potential profits. How to idea? L with it? Dot. Smart asset. 
I've had a financial advisor, who is a certified financial planner. CFP. Since December of last year. I really find his advice super valuable, but I can't seem to get over the fact that he sold all of M. Y NVIDIA stock when he took over as my CFP. I had bought $20,000 worth of NVIDIA. The post asked an advisor. My advisor sold my NVIDIA stock when I hired him, costing me $50,000 in potential profits. How did I deal with it? Appeared first on Smart Reads by Smart Asset. Below are your comments. Mistake number one hiring an expert advisor. Mistake number two losing control of your own investment decisions. In simple terms, you got what you deserved. Incidentally, more than a decade ago I purchased a few shares of both NVDA and NFLX. My cost basis for each is now less than $5 per share. Sometimes we all make wrong decisions. Woulda shoulda coulda. Stop crying about the past it's gone can't go back. Focus on the here and now and plan for the future. Next news. China investors face tens of billions in losses over Jiangxi. Bloomberg. Bloomberg, as China's embattled shadow banking giant Jiangxi Enterprise Group Co. Faces a criminal probe, lawyers and analysts are assessing the damage to investors. One estimate puts that at about $56 billion. Most read from Bloomberg Russia downs drones over Moscow. In Ukrainian retaliatory strike China says multiple pathogens are behind spike in respiratory illness. SODM in batteries. Shift may herald another shakeup Musk. Netanyahu visit massacre site amid anti-Semitism furor Israel. H. Amazel. Below are your comments. Why do I feel this is still the tip of the iceberg in China's economy? Whilst it's interesting, it doesn't even cover the nightmares slowly rising and just under the surface. Dot. Interesting how China flags lined the streets of America when the Chinese president came to town. I have no sympathy for those that invested in China, and funded its crimes against humanity and Gino. Sides. It's not like you you weren't warned, it's not like you didn't know of China's crimes. Next news. How the $1.8 billion real estate commissions lawsuit came to be. The Wall Street Journal. The litigation that could end up changing how millions of Americans buy and sell homes was hiding in plain sight for three decades. Below are your comments. Escrow companies should set up a flat fee system. Current reagents do very little work as housing is so short folks are buying within days of a propay. RTY been placed for sale. Buyer's agents will longer be needed. Then, who is going to show the house to the buyers? The answer is simple, listing agent. Their workload will double. Anything other than a flat fee based on the number of times the agent actually physically shows the property to buyer is a rip-off to both buyers and sellers given the amount of information available on the internet. I find it ironic that a lawyer who gets 33% commission is litigating 6% is too much. 
The only time this will benefit anyone is if you are selling your home and not buying anything. 3% tops on commission. Next news. Inflation report puts stock market rally to the test. What to know this week? Yahoo Finance. The latest reading of the Fed's preferred inflation measure will serve as the main highlight for INV. Esther's in the week ahead. Below are your comments. The sun rose today, puts rally to the test. Snow fell today, puts rally to the test. Someone ate cereal for breakfast today, puts rally to the test. A million and one reasons, puts rally to test. The Fed is not even close to taming inflation yet. The media can gaslight their readers all they want. But most people cannot afford the basic essentials of gas and groceries. It's a sad state of affairs in this country that people don't get the difference between disinflatio N and deflation. Until inflation is negative, which it won't be anytime soon or ever, prices are never coming back due. WN across the board. Oh you might see a seasonal item have a drop in price here. Next news. Black Friday spending was strong. How people pay for gifts is upending retailers. The Wall Street J. Ernal. Consumers are shifting away from store branded credit cards, which have been lucrative for retailers. Dot dot. Below are your comments. Inflation at near record lows, so they claim. Credit card interest rates at record highs. In the past, consumers balked and demanded action from DC. What's the problem now? Unless and until you demand action, these rates are not coming down and you have been had once again. Dot. Why does Yahoo feature articles behind a paywall? We can't read them. Dot. If retailers are upended by consumers not using their branded credit cards, then they are not retail. Errs, they're finance companies. Sure, store branded cards can juice the profits, but as a retailer you shouldn't be dependent on them. Dot. Agree, John. And their AI, for bad words is so easy to fool. Dot. What is a credit card? Next news. Here are four reasons investors should be paying attention to bonds as a turbulent year nears the finish. H Line, Business Insider. A market veteran broke down how investors should be looking at the bond market as they head into the end of 2023. Below are your comments. With more government debt issued and lower demand for it along with tax loss selling, I see bond pre. CES lower in December. Banks make money borrowing short term and loaning out long term. This dynamic is obviously broken. The question is will it ever be repaired and at what cost or by what means. My bond strategy is buying ones with six months to maturity and never paying above par in case they are called. I'm retired. The Fed isn't done raising rates because where we are now at 3.2% inflation is still far from there. Target of 2.0% where they are looking to reduce inflation to. 
Liberals have no shame. Dot. Risk-free CDs make more sense to me. Next news. Oil prices are falling. OPEC is reaching the limits of its power. Barons.com The Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries delayed a meeting amid talk that some country's want higher output quotas. Below are your comments. With the U.S. producing so much oil and gas OPEC has finally lost its power. Dot. We are producing 85 billion cubic feet of natural gas per day and exporting over 100 billion cubic feet of lick. Wefied gas per week. Awesome situation. Dot. Biden guilty on the way up. Biden did it on the way down. Since a lot of people think the U.S. president sits at his desk controlling oil prices. Be it Trump, Bush, Obama or Biden. None have a thing to do with it. The oil markets must be anticipating Trump's second presidency. The problem is recency bias. If you look at 2019 pricing, oil is 25% above those levels. Next news. Stock market news today. U.S. futures stall, but stocks still head for blowout month. Yahoo Finance. Stocks are on track to book their best month in over a year, as upbeat investors keep rally hopes Al. I've Below are your comments. I don't get it. Why are they distinguishing between online sales and sales in stores? Seem to me sales are sales. Distinguishing between the two gives the big houses just another way to manipulate the market. Sales either went up or went down, should NT matter where sale was made. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.